if my hairdresser Victoria is watching this video, please click off now. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Does this class is having a meltdown? <gasps> and the final result. So I've seen this thing on TikTok. Get your toilet rolls out. My life just flashed before my eyes. Da, 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 da. everyone welcome back to another lockdown vlog starting my day by the river today how pretty i've decided to come out on a morning walk today because yesterday wasn't a good day so i thought i'm gonna get up go for a walk start my day off right and then crack on when i get back home it's very pretty today the weather it's a little bit chilly but it's sunny like i was saying yesterday not a good day it was just one of those days i woke up and the whole day felt like i was gonna cry so I was actually meant to vlog yesterday, but I decided to postpone to today because no one wants to see that. And now I feel much better. Honestly, nature does wonders for your mind. me I look rough today but I'm just about to do my makeup before I start I'm gonna use a little bit of this glam glow insta mud face mask kind of like a face mask not really I really really like it though this is only a sample size that was in glossy box but I'm definitely gonna invest in the full size it's bright purple and I just use this around my nose it's a pore refining treatment so you'll see in a second it actually starts bubbling up on your face I forgot to mention it's also a 60 second treatment so it's super easy to do before your makeup look how much it's bubbled up now I love it It's Siobhan. How are you feeling? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, all right. I'm um, a great video for Q and A. Oh, That's thank fun. you. Oh my god, there's the biggest wasp in my room. Oh, please go away, mate. I'm stuck in here. You're not allowed to be stuck in here with me. Please just go out. Literally, the window is open right there. You stupid wasp. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. <gasps> Thank the Lord. My life just flashed before my eyes. I've been using a new mascara lately, guys. This is with one coat. I absolutely love it. This is the L'Oreal Bambi Lash False Lash Mascara. I'm actually obsessed. Like, it's got a nice big wand. It's a rubbery kind of wand. It's not a brush kind of wand, which is always my favourite. And it's just so easy. Like, I've got really rubbish eyelashes, I'm going to admit. They're so light. They're not that long. They're straight. But this mascara, it's an absolute win. Watch this. So, nothing on these eyelashes, as you can see. Amazing. I love it. I don't use it on my bottom lashes because I feel like it's a little bit too intense. So instead I use the Benefit Roller Lash on my bottom. Bottom lashes. <laughs> and voila. Easy, simple makeup. Complete. Oh my god, my hair gives me such a throwback. Remember when my hair was this long? If anyone was watching my videos when my hair was this length, you are an OG. It feels a bit like, I don't know, too long. Maybe I should cut it. Shall I? The other day I gave it like the tiniest trim because the ends were so split. Maybe I should cut some length off. Let's do it. If my hairdresser Victoria is watching this video, please click off now <laughs> because I'm definitely going to be coming to you in a few months' time so you can fix it. Do you know what? I might do. What's well, is exciting now? <laughs> I might frame my face a bit, like cut it shorter around my face. Let's go to Hannah's hair salon. Because apparently I have an appointment at 1pm. Do you ever think to yourself, am I actually normal? <laughs> so welcome back to my hair tutorial. This is what my hair looks like before. To be honest, absolutely nothing wrong with it. First things first, I'm the realist. What's the second thing? I really haven't thought this through. This is not a hair tutorial of how to cut your own hair. Would just like to make that clear. Got me very old comb that's covered in mascara. Here goes nothing. <gasps> I've done it, I've done it. Wow, that's gonna take a really long time. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, I like this new length. Oh, does this class is having a meltdown? I am having slight regrets already, I'm not gonna lie. Too late now. No regrets, no regrets. So this is the difference in length. Hairdressers all over the country are gonna be so busy when lockdown's over because everyone is gonna need their hair fixing. I know I'm not the only one. I should have watched a tutorial on this before I started. Right, next side. Snip, snip. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. My biggest regret of 2020 is not getting my hair done before lockdown. Of all my bad life decisions, that's one of my worst. It is fun though. Next up, I'm going to cut these front bits. It's not drastic enough. Famous last words. 
<gasps> Oops. I don't even know how to fix this. I'm looking at it from all different angles and I can't work it out. Suddenly this isn't as fun anymore. Oops. My heart went oops. <gasps> how do I glue back on? <laughs> okay, this side's gone way worse. Look at that. Oh dear. Just keep snipping, just keep snipping. <laughs> Don't know whether to keep cutting the good side and match it to the bad side, but why would I want two bad sides? Thanks for coming to Hannah's hair salon. What do you think of my hair? Is it straight at the back? Straight? No. It's not straight? No. <laughs> so this is what the sink looks like. So light you can't even see the hairs that are up here. There's also quite a lot on the floor. And the final result, it's not great, I have to admit. But when it's tied up, right, imagine it. Like, how cute does that look? I'm trying to convince myself. <laughs> At least I filmed it. That's all I can say. At least it didn't go to waste. I'm back and I've got changed because I was literally covered in hair. I've now got a meeting in five minutes and... It's on Zoom. I've never heard of it before this lockdown. Had anyone else? Is it like a known thing? Da, 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 da. This meeting is about Candid, about launching and just a little discussion with the team really about the product that we're gonna add to the collection. Da, 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 da. T minus three minutes and I still can't find the meeting link. I've got my pencil, I've got my notebook. I'm ready to go, I've got two minutes left. I don't know about you, but I never join a video meeting early because I feel like, what if I'm the only person sat there? I look like a right keen bean. I wonder if everyone else who's joining this meeting is sat there right now, like just waiting for the time to get to three o'clock. I better put a bit of perfume on from a Zoom meeting. One minute. I've got time for at least three TikToks in that minute. <laughs> oh, it's three o'clock, it's three o'clock. Here we go, I'm gonna join. Hi. How's everyone doing? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? I mean, I, I absolutely do understand where you're coming from. Probably get a rough idea to you on Monday about that. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh my god, I thought there was a child in the garden. <laughs> Not a child, it's actually a plant pot. Welcome back to Tyson Fury Bakes. Tyson is ready to rumble. Me and Tyson are going to be baking blueberry muffins. Oh my god, anyone remember that video? It's like Blueberries, 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 blueberries. If you remember that, you're an internet OG. Anyway, this is supposed to be a super easy one. Way easier than the carrot cake last week. Jesus, that was literally Mary Berry standard. I'd also like to point out that my family are literally sick of me baking now because they say we're eating too many cakey things. Anyone else not know that was a thing? More blueberry muffins for me then. As always, I will leave the link to the recipe in the description down below. They might turn out horrifically and then you decide, huh? Keep them to yourself. What is 400 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 204. 75 muffin cases in this pot. Jesus, who's making 75 muffins? Today I'm gonna make just four. I've had that TikTok song in my head all day. It goes da 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 it's ingrained in my mind forever. Baking powder. Oh my god, that looks disgusting. Mmm, baking. Me pouring every bit of faith I have left into 2020, like. Don't forget to wash your bloobs. Da, 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 da. I love that I've literally just made four, like on a protest. Ta da! Four blueberry muffins into the oven. Jobs are good in. Who's ready for the least exciting reveal in history? Ta-da. Not sure what's happened to this one. It looks like it's got the River Thames flying through it. It's like a BTEC EastEnders theme tune. The rest of them look all right though. We've all got ourselves a blueberry muffin and a cup of tea and we're about to watch the end of Quiz. We've enjoyed this series so much. It's on ITV. There's only three episodes, so it's a really quick one to get through. We literally watched two and a half episodes in one night and then we're just gonna finish it now. Basically, if you haven't seen it, it's about who wants to be a millionaire because there was this one episode where this man cheated and basically someone in the audience was coughing when the right answer came up so that he won a million pounds but this man says he's innocent even to this day he says that he didn't cheat let me know in the comments down below if you've seen quiz do you think the couple are guilty or not because i definitely do anyway it's got a lot of bloobs in it so many bloobs bloobs galore so i've seen this thing on tiktok lol sentence of the decade where you put a toilet roll over a camera lens and then take pictures through it so it should look like this and then at the end is me i mean a lot of people look really glamorous when they do it i look like the teletubby sun 
But I want to try it anyway. I want to try and get a cool Instagram. Get your toilet rolls out. Guys, I'm so happy. I mean, it's been a long time. I've had dinner since I last filmed. But toilet roll photo shoot actually went quite well. Here are some of the final pictures. I've actually been sat reading for a while. So the book I've been reading at the minute is Stacey Dooley's On the Front Line with the Women Who Fight Back. I'm not just saying this because I love Stacey Dooley. This book is genuinely so interesting. It's basically about like her experiences while she's been filming her documentaries and a little bit behind the scenes of like the people she's met and their stories and stuff like that. I highly recommend this whether you like Stacey Dooley or not I personally love her documentaries I find her so interesting and I would love to do her job she's just someone I really admire the only thing I would say is that this book covers quite a lot of sensitive topics so if you're triggered by abuse or domestic violence or anything of the sort I definitely say give this book a miss anyway it's now eight o'clock so I'm gonna run myself a bath and oh I'm excited about this give me two seconds got these eye gels in a recent glossy box they're from a brand called patchology they're a mood patch and downtime calming eye gels so i'm gonna do these tonight while i have a bath and i've been using some radox sleep aromatherapy just reading it over there uh, bubble bath in my baths recently because i've been struggling to sleep i think just the situation going on my mind goes into overdrive at night time hopefully i'll have a better night tonight it's just absolutely no fun when you're awake at 2 a.m thinking about how this virus is gonna take over your life it's not a bit of me hun i'm here for a peaceful life and it's making me feel stressed i've got my eye gels on right i don't know if it goes this way or this way like with the fat bit there or the fat bit there let me know in the comments down below if you know also the bubble bath i use is this one i thought in case you're interested <laughs> i've used that much already it's been a stressful week i think it goes this way because it's falling off anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i hope you're all staying safe let me know in the comments down below what are you doing to occupy yourself during this time if anyone's doing paint by numbers please let me know i'm not alone <laughs> do subscribe to see my future videos i've got some good ones planned but anyway guys thanks for watching have a lovely week and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya